Okay. So this is continuation of the uh, MCAT general chemistry chemical equilibrium part two. In the part one, we have done the relationship between K equilibrium and reaction coefficient, if you recall, right? So uh, mm -hmm. if you need to define these two terms onto a graph, how can you define by Gibbs free energy and reaction coefficient chart, right? Or this graph diagram. So basically, the K equilibrium at this point, if you see, it at this point, it is, I'm sorry, at this point, it has become nearly flat, if you could see. Yeah? For a certain timeline, it is flat. Flat means change in delta G is equal to zero. Okay. Right? So change in delta G is equal to zero means the reaction is at equilibrium. And here, you can call Kp is equal K equilibrium. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. But when you are moving towards the delta G is equal zero, when you are moving towards the delta G is equal zero, that means you are doing forward reaction. And for the forward reaction, this time, the delta G will be less than zero. Okay. Right? Or basically, you can say that this is the delta G for forward reaction only because you are going towards equilibrium if you could see the arrow, right? Coming down towards equilibrium. Yeah. Right. And here, if you could see this delta G reverse, here also you are coming down to the equilibrium position, but this time the delta G is reverse uh, for the reverse reaction, which it will again it will be less than zero. Got it. But why? Because delta G less than zero is for spontaneous reactions only, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, all the reactions on the slide, whether you are talking about delta G forward or delta G reverse, are spontaneous. Got it. Can you tell? Can you talk the difference between QC and KEQ one more? Just like yeah, definition. Definitely, definitely. So if I could draw a line. Hmm? Here, mm. if I could draw a line, just like we draw pH scale, now. So this is about the time, right? Time of the reaction. Okay. Now, suppose you have started your reaction at time t is equal to zero, and you have ended at time t is equal to 10, right? And mm -hmm. you got your equilibrium point or k equilibrium at this point where the time is t is equal to 4, let's say, right? Now, so basically, if you divide uh, concentration of product over concentration of reactant, right? So definitely the K equilibrium is equal to concentration of the product over concentration of the reactant, but more correctly at equilibrium. Means equilibrium concentration of the product over equilibrium concentration of the reactant is equal to the K equilibrium. But definitely at time T is equal one or at time T is equal two. Definitely, you can also find a ratio of P and R, isn't it? At every point, you can find the ratio of P and R, right? Like time P is equal to, like time P is equal to 6, right? Here also, you can find the ratio of P and R, right? So these mm -hmm. ratios, which are beyond the equilibrium position, are known as QC. Means this ratio is known as QC, and this ratio is also known as QC. So we can write that at equilibrium condition at equilibrium condition your QC QC will be equal to K equilibrium. Okay. So are they kind of the same thing except K equilibrium yes. is only at one time period? Yes, yes, yes. K equilibrium is QC at just equilibrium point. QC changes with time. K equilibrium yes. does not change. Does not change with time. And to find K equilibrium, you have to like um, balance the equation and then do the math. But QC is dependent on the data you get at that point in time. Very good. Very good. Okay. okay. We will do certain calculations based on this concept. Right? Mm -hmm. And now, this is for you, certain questions that the equilibrium concentration 
for the reaction is 60. It is given, it is 60, right? The equilibrium mm -hmm. constant for the reaction is given as 16. The reaction is SO2 plus NO2, all gaseous, gives out SO3 and NO, all gaseous. So you need to tell that what is the K equilibrium for the following reactions. And if you could see, there is difference in moles only or stoichiometric coefficients are different. Can mm. you try? Hmm. Wouldn't it be the same? No, I'm telling you. Okay. First, I will tell you. Second, you will do. Okay. Now, okay. So, first, you need to write for this reaction, you need to write K equilibrium, right? It will be definitely product, which is SO3 and NO over uh, equilibrium concentration for the SO2 and NO2, right? Mm -hmm. Right. This will be the mm -hmm. K equilibrium. But let's say it is like, one let's say this is one right now in the question if you need to calculate the k equilibrium let's say definitely the equilibrium uh, value the k equilibrium value value will be different let's say it is two right so it mm -hmm. will be now equal to s o3 whole square right because p is square <coughs> i'm sorry n o whole square over s o2 whole square and NO2 whole square, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? Because yeah. product uh, along with the coefficients and uh, reactants along with the coefficients. Now, I'm mm -hmm. going to do certain magic with it. Let's see. Can I write it as O3 NO over as O2 and NO2 giving a whole square in total? Yeah. Oh, so it would be 16. Exactly. Times. So it would be K equilibrium 1 square, actually. And because the value is given, it will be 256. I remind, 16 times 16 is equal to 56. Right? Mm -hmm. Also, just like I told you, everyone, to my every student, I told to memorize the value of the log 1 to log 10, right? Similarly, I'm giving you a tip that memorize the values of factorization, like 1 times 1, Two to the four, right? Till mm -hmm. twenty. If you memorize, it will be great for you, and you can save time. Like sixteen times sixteen is two fifty six. I recall, you know, from the last fifteen years. Okay. Now, just do the second part on it. So, if it's one half everything now, then it would be like SO three to the power of one half, and O two to the power of one half, SO two to the power of over. And so 2 to the power of 1 half, and 2 to the power of 1 half, and mm. so everything to the power of 1 half would be 4. Exactly, because it will be the square root of everything, so it will be equal to 4. So K equilibrium 3 at this position will be everything like SO3 and NO over SO2 and NO2, right? And everything mm. will be 1 half, so basically it will be 16 whole raised to the power one by two, which will be equal to four. Simple? Yeah. It's actually fun doing these kind of calculations. And now there's one question for you, which is based on a different concept. So I have given you a formula. Just read the question. Um, the equation constant. The equilibrium constant. Oh, equilibrium. Well, the reaction is that PCL5 to PCL3 plus Cl2 is 2.4 times 10 to the negative third. Determine the equilibrium constant for the backward reaction at the same temperature. Hmm. So, so basically, there's a relation between the K forward and the K backward, which is equal to 1, right? So yeah. For backward reaction, most of the people uh, give a negative sign before the rate constant. So actually, it is not true. So you need to do just one over, and you can find the backward rate constant. Got it? Mm -hmm. You just do one over two point four times ten to the negative ten to the negative three. Yeah, actually, uh, answer is not important. Method is important over here. No? Answer is important in MGAS. 
Okay. Okay. You can write KF time KV is equal one. Okay. okay. Should I go to the next slide? Yeah. Okay. And now here we will talk about calculation of molar concentration, right? Because I've already done on that slide, I'm doing it once again. Calculation of molar concentration. Uh, sorry, concentration at equilibrium. Right. Okay. Let's say mm -hmm. I'm talking about a reaction which is HI gives out H2 plus I2. Sorry, I have an X2 and X2 design. Okay. So this is mm -hmm. a, a, a equation which is given H HI is equal H2 plus I2. It is given. Let's say you have started with initial moles of I think the color. Initial moles. Initial moles of H HI, let's say it is one. And initially these two will be zero, right? And mm -hmm. moles at equilibrium. Moles at equilibrium. Right? Let me take the example which I have taken. H2 and I2. Oh, I have taken two H. Oh, I have given the reverse thing. Let me just erase it. Although you can do like this as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. H2. Yes. So H2 plus I2 gives out 2HI, right? And it's an equilibrium reaction. The initial moles of these two fellows were zero. Yeah. Zero. Sorry. Initial moles of these two fellows are A and B. Okay. Let's say it is A and it is B. Initially, it is zero, right? At equilibrium, mm -hmm. definitely A will be A minus X, right? Means X part of the A has been broken out. Similarly, X part of B will be broken out because you are producing two times X, mm -hmm. right? So now, if I ask you to write the equation of the K equilibrium, you will write 2x whole square because it is product whole square over concentration of reactants. Got it. Right? 2x mm -hmm. whole square over concentration of the reactants. Okay. Now, point is that, point is that in these kind of calculations, we basically assume that, that here, if I go back, then we basically assume that this x right this x is close to zero every time then we are doing these kind of calculations whether in solutions or whether in chemical equilibrium we believe that x is close to zero but we, we place x is equal to zero in this mm -hmm. equation only it means where it is in the subtraction form Denominate. not in this form okay. right so you can basically write then k equilibrium is equal to 4x squared over A times B. Mm -hmm. Right? And let's say if the K equilibrium is given, any value, it is 6, right? Concentration of A was 4 and concentration of B was 3. Then you can uh, determine easily the value of X. Putting all these values, 6 is equal to 4X squared over 4 times 3. Right? Or basically, mm -hmm. 4X is squared is equal to Six times four times three, or basically x squared is equal to six times four times three over four, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. four and four will be cancelled out. Six three is eighteen. So x squared is equal to eighteen. So you can determine the value of x, and right. it will be like here. Yeah. So x is equal under root eighteen, and because four times four is equal sixteen, and five times five is equal twenty five, right? So 18 relies between 16 and 25, but near to 4. So approximately, the value will be around 4.2 or 4.3, you can say. Mm -hmm. Simple? Yeah. Should I go to the next slide? Yeah. Okay. So here, I have taken the example of something else, taking a different value, and I have used this slide to be someone else. Right? Now. Now, the question is this. Do not look at the solution, please, and try to find uh, initial concentration and final concentration is given. K equilibrium value is also given. It is 10 to the power negative 12. 
Okay. Only write the equation. Yeah. So initial and concentration a, is A. Hmm. Right? Yes. What what is the initial concentration I'm asking? Oh, what is the initial concentration you were asking? Let's say it is one. So k equilibrium is 10 to the negative 12. Right, so you do 10 to the negative 12 equals um, Yeah, A is given as one molar. Mm -hmm. Equals concentration of and the two are one point five times. I am stopping this and adding a blank set. Is it mm -hmm. okay? okay? Yeah. Am I trying to find the concentrations of N2 and H2? Yes. The equilibrium concentration, basically you need to find X. Right hand side, home as two gives out. So X is X is how much product is made, right? Uh, actually, not because here uh, the value X is how much a substrate dissociated, right? But because here the value of X will be one by two X, and here it will be three by two X. If it is one, then one minus x. Initially it was one, and these two were zero. Okay. Right? And k equilibrium was given 10 to the power negative 12. K equilibrium will be equal to x by 2 to the power 1 by 2. I think this way the equation uh, seems quite problematic. So what you can do that change the number of moles because in NCAT these kind of fractional values will not come, right? So what mm -hmm. you can do, you can just try 2NH3 gives out N2 plus 3H2. I think this way it will be easy. Wait, and sorry, definitely what? should be 2 into 1 minus 6, right? 2 NH3 plus N equals makes N2 plus 3H2. 3H2, yes. Okay, one second. Because NCA did not ask problematic questions, like very tedious calculations. But the concentration of 2 NH3 is still 1. At equilibrium, it will be 2 into 1 minus X. Because I have taken A is equal one molars. Yeah, yeah. Or basically you can do two minus X. Yeah, because it is two now, two molars. So definitely you can do two minus X. No. That was correct initially. You cannot because A is taken as one. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, this way it is correct. Okay, okay. Sorry. sorry, let me do it.
it will be equal to like this x times 3x whole cube over 2 into 1 minus x. Yeah. So okay. basically, yeah, and I know you are doing it will be 3 to the 9 to 27 x to the power 4 over you can assume it as 0. So the entire value will be equal to 2. Mm -hmm. Right. And if it would be 3, the situation would be nice, but that's okay. Uh, then x to the power 4 is equal to 2 times 10 to the power negative 12 over 27. Right. Or basically, you can say that if you divide these two fellows, what you get? Point. Let's do the calculation using calculator. It is 0 0.074. 0 0.074 times 10 to the power negative 12. Now you need to think about this 74, right? Or basically 12. So basically we know that 12 is like uh, uh, 12 is 4, 4 and 4, right? So basically if mm -hmm. you, uh, you write like 10 to the power 4 and 10 to the power 4 and 10 to the power 4, for the cube root. Oh, it is actually power 4. Power 4 means the situation is going to be really tough, right? Power 4 means 3 and 3 and 3 and 3, right? You can divide like, sorry. Yeah, so there is 3 and 3 and 3 and one more 3. Mm -hmm. 3, 3, 3, 3, right? But here it is 0 0.074. So what you can do, if you write like, okay, so out of these uh, 10 to the power negative 12, 10 to the power negative 3 will come out if you are talking about the uh, 4, x to the power 4. Now, this fellow, what is the value of the, this fellow? If you just do the root of 0 0.074, 1 by 4. Any idea? Mm -hmm. 74. So here, I think you can do the hit and trial. Like, let's say, this is the rough part. Right? Like, mm -hmm. four, four, eight, eight, are, eight, eight, are 64. Mm -hmm. And nine, nine, are 81. Right? But here, mm -hmm. the situation is like, if you do like, two times two times two times two. So two to the four to the 16, 16 to the 32. No. Three times three times three times three. Then, 3 to the 9 to the 27 and 27 3 is a sure. mm -hmm. 27 times 3. It is 81, right? 81. Yeah. So the value will be somewhere between 2 and 3. But the problem is still reside with the Z, uh, point 0 0.074. So what I suggest you to do like this, right? Find three zeros, right? Find three zeros. And these mm -hmm. three zeros will be uh, adding towards this, right? So you can then find the this root, if 74 will be now will be equal to between 2 and 3, or you can let's say 2.5, right? And then you can mm -hmm. calculate this. But trust me, this kind of typical calculation will not come to that. Means the values will be very easy. Okay. In my chemistry class, we learned like an ice table to do this, like initial concentration, then change, then equilibrium. Is it the same concept? Yeah, it is the same kind concept. Of? Yeah. Okay. Right. And this is the actual question of the answer. You, you can easily solve it. Just let me try. So we should define molarity, right? So three divided by 0.5 is six.
follow the same procedure you do by oh, writing yeah. the initial modes and binding yeah okay So, hold on. So it's um, case equilibrium is neg 10 to the negative 6. Can we? Wait, sorry, never mind. Is it 6? Is the concent equilibrium concentration of NO2 6? You got the answer? Yeah. I'm asking like, you. But okay, okay. Let me check. Let me I don't check. Think it Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. The let, let me think. Is six. Yes. Oh, hold on, no. Hold on. Hold on. Mm It's six times ten to the negative three. Uh what? Molars. What is the equilibrium like, concentration um, of NO2? Yeah, and six times ten to the negative three. Okay, let me now check. Um here I think it is and for the N2O4, the molarity comes six molars, right? Because the moles is given. And the volume is given. Now, the actual thing means for NU2, it comes three times 10 to the power negative three. Mm -hmm. So, there you did miss it. No, but then you have to multiply it by two. So, equilibrium concentration. See, so go back. Okay, wait, okay, back. okay, 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 okay. Two times x, yes. Definitely. Yeah, that's this is correct. This is correct. Wow. So it is simple now. You need to uh, calculate the modality first, and then you can do the same thing. You will square over this. Perfect. Easy? Um, right? Yeah. In MCAT, these kind of super easy questions come always. Right? And now, this is just one question around this solution, but do not look at the solution and try to do that. Equilibrium constant for the reaction, 3CO plus 1H2O gives out CO2 plus H2, is 0.63. Then, a mixture of one mole of water vapor and three moles of CO is allowed to come to the equilibrium at a total pressure of 280. How many moles of H2 are present at equilibrium? Means you need to find X. Okay. okay.
and basically basically the numbers which i have written in red these are not the balancing numbers these are the number of moles given in question got it See. yeah so it's 3co huh. plus 1h2o no no plus... no 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 not, not not like this these are the numbers in red these are given in question so these you can write like initial mole and final mole the numbers in yeah. red are yeah initial mole And then there's initially no CO2 or H2, right? Yes, initially. Is it difficult? Like, one second. How do you know when to ignore X and when you don't ignore X? Exactly. Because the Kaplan, That's I told you. Kaplan, the Kaplan book that. said to do yeah. it when it's yes. like less than negative 10 times 10 no. to the negative 6, it says to do it. Yes, but the point is that how can you get the, the exact value without considering these two fellows as zero? The point is that I, I understand your question. So if I do the same exercise onto the next page, like here, it is 0.63 is equal. It was 0.63 is equal x squared over 3 minus x into 1 minus x. No? This is a situation, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The point is that if, let's say if you do not make these two x as 0. Now, let's see how the equation will look like. So definitely it will be equal to x squared into 3 minus x into one minus x into 0.63, right? So basically when you solve entire thing, right? To find the value of x, don't you think it will become too difficult? Because it, it basically means, if you solve only these two, it basically means three multiplied by one, right? Yeah, it will and become three difficult, multiply but how by can x, you ignore yes, it? Yes, three multiplied by x, and then, then one multiplied by x, and then x squared, right? So you cannot do or solve for the x if the factorial is x squared and in terms of x. So basically to make the calculation simpler, Kaplan suggests to, to assume x is equal to zero if it is in the subtraction form. But definitely you will be finding certain value of x by solving the equation. Just like if I do on the right side, right? So I, I understand how to do it if you assume x is zero, but yeah. how can you assume x is zero if it's not if the equilibrium value is okay, not low okay, enough? Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm I'm explaining you a situation. If you recall long back in biochemistry, when I was teaching you enzyme kinetics, right? Long back in biochemistry, when I was teaching you enzyme kinetics and basically mm kinetics, in which the assumption was uh, of Michael Clinton was at the beginning of the experiment, right? At the beginning mm -hmm. of the experiment, the concentration of the substrate is much, 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 much greater than the concentration of the enzyme. Oh, yeah. Right? And mm -hmm. there I have taken an example 